be exercising work. I'm on, I'm on furlough right now from work. Oh, good. Okay, they got the heaters going. Yeah, they got more. MTL, you know, the website, they, uh, there was a recent post about improvements. I think it was uh, Jake Dunn? No, no. The other guy. Matt. Okay. Matt. And, uh, and there was comments afterwards, and I said, yeah, he, he was talking about the improvements they made here, and I said, all the improvements are really appreciated, and I said, and uh, thank you to whoever's making sure that we have full, full heater tanks uh, before class, particularly yoga. Yeah, so, yes. Because a couple times they've been, and, yeah. Yeah, and they did it today, too. So. Yes, yes, it definitely is nice to come in for that um, for us. So, yeah. I should be more careful about how I threw this in the back of my car. Uh, it's doubled up for yin, because although. Purposefully, we should didn't have us on the ground much because it was cool. Yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah. I actually bought my own lot. All right. Oh, yeah, just to. Good. You know, make sure I have them and perfect and a strap. Yeah, I so brought the whole thing. Well, I've had yes. to strap it. Okay. Um, anyway, so I just thought. Yeah, so today we definitely is a good chance we'll be using the blocks. Good. Um, so I don't know that we'll get to the strap. We'll see. Okay. Together. So today I want to focus a lot on core. Oh boy. Core. <laughs> That's the burn of the week. Okay. And then um, and then we'll be doing what's called frogs. Oh. Um, and frogs are good for your eyes. So it's not a frog pose. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's actually from taken from Kundalini Yoga. And so frogs are a dynamic pose, meaning you're moving the whole time. Oh, okay. And through this movement, you are really working your legs, for okay. sure. But you're also um, stimulating your blood flow <laughs> to create <laughs> circulation throughout your entire body. Uh, so because of that, you tend to get really warm. Okay. And it's got lots of layers on. Yes. Yeah. And then some, um, and it also um, allows for a boost of energy. So that can be, that can be really nice too. Okay. Sarah, so, Sarah's not here today. Huh? Yeah, but yeah, just or, has it. Or Ron, it was pretty much with him here on the bed. They said he needed a couple of week off as your own people. Yeah. So, but hopefully we'll be back to back yeah. to three or so yeah. next week. Hopefully. Um, we'll be, let's be in touch soon so the other people will start coming. Yeah. Yeah. So, and they also discussed possibly doing a tent on the outside of flow. So that um, if people are more comfortable outside, they can take a class from outside, and then some people could be inside my class as well. So um, I thought that was a good idea. Yeah. Um, so that was just a discussion so far, not something anything set in stone. But, okay. but yeah. Oh, and so did you get a watch? Uh, you have a watch. You yeah. got a watch. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been yeah. fun. Um, Learning. It's a. a I mostly just bring it for, for the classes. Uh huh. And um, I haven't figured out the sleep thing yet on it. But okay. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to see it in the yeah in the percentages yeah. and stuff. So oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I think with the sleep thing, they want it wants to be more for the night. So I yeah. And it for the night. But that's not the main reason I like I have a Fitbit. It's I wanted the 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 heart rate stuff. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's fun to see it. So good. Good. Okay, so with all that, let's go ahead and start seated. And we'll take a just take a Yeah. And we'll just take a moment to tune in. Can I listen to it? Yeah. Just kind of let me feel your foot. Oh, no worries. No, you're fine. So go ahead and close your eyes. Lengthen like spine and neck. And breathe your natural breath. You're not making any changes to your breath. You just notice its natural qualities. Take a 
moment to focus on where your breath is. Take a moment to notice how far you can travel with your breath. Go down your throat. And into your lungs. And then without changing the pattern, can you notice the qualities that are happening with your breath? Is it slow or fast? Deep or shallow? regular or steady and smooth. You're not judging your breath, you just notice. And anytime thoughts come in, allow your focus to return to what's happening with your breath. Begin to breathe in a little bit deeper, fill up belly, ribs, and chest, all as much air as you can fit in your lungs, fill them up. And then exhale out chest, ribs, and belly, as much air out as you can. Inhale, fill all the way up from the bottom to the top. And exhale, release as much air as you can. If you're breathing in this way, keep your spine long and tall. The shape will change slightly as you inhale and exhale. Allow shoulders to stay relaxed away from your ears. And spine and neck are tall and proud. One more breath like this. Good. So then you're going to take your hands by your side, chin down towards the chest, and slowly blink your eyes open. Good. We're going to do some side body stretch. You're going to lift your left arm up. Inhale and exhale, side bend. Inhale up to center, right arm goes up, exhale, side bend. Inhale, center, exhale, side bend. Inhale, center, exhale, side bend. And let's do one more on each side. hands are going to be um, just kind of floating by your sides here and you're going to inhale first then exhale twist to the right inhale center exhale twist left inhale center exhale right inhale center One more on each side. All right, when you come back to center, hands are going to go to your knees for some spinal flex. So um, start with a cow and try to keep your chin nice and parallel to the mat to start. Good. And then open your chest on your inhale. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, cow shape. Inhale, cats. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cats. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cats. Do two more like this. And then you're going to have your hands on your knees. But 
try to keep your elbows straight and continue the motion. When you keep your elbows straight, it brings the movement up to your middle spine. So, easier said than done. Yeah, I can feel it. But you can feel where it moves to a different spot. two more and then you'll move your hands to your shoulders so you can work the upper spine so hands to the shoulders fingers in front thumbs and back okay and then it'll be a little more exaggerated and now you can bring your chin in so inhale chin up shoulders towards each other in the back exhale round and wrap your spine inhale open exhale round Exhale round. Good. Nice. Let's do two more. Good. Then come back to neutral. Hands for your sides. You're going to stretch your legs out wide, toes flex. And then hands right in the center. And you're going on your exhale, you're going to lean forward just to the first point of resistance. So right when you feel your hamstrings turn on, just stay right there and breathe. Then three times, you're going to inhale, straighten up to the center. Exhale, fold right to that first point of resistance. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. And hold. And now see if you can walk your hands out just a little bit more, maybe one inch. The block can always come in handy. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And then from here, you're going to inhale center. Exhale, fold to that second point. Inhale center. Exhale, fold. Inhale center. Exhale, fold. And one more time. Inhale center. Exhale, fold. Good. One more breath. Good. Then you're going to come back up to center. Bring your legs together and give them a nice little shake. Good. And then you're going to bring yourself to sitting on your knees. And I'll leave it up to you. If you tend to get toe cramps or or anything, I would suggest curling your toes under and sitting so that you can stretch your toes. If this is really bothering your toes, then just place them flat on the ground, whatever feels best. And we're just going to warm up the core a little bit. Um, first, we're going to do some of that engagement practice, and then we'll do a breathing exercise for core. So we've been working on the, um, the core engagement. Thumb on your lowest rib, and then your index finger or middle finger on your hip point. So we're just going to bring in that um, that open and closed jaw motion of your core. You can even snap the other one. Keep that visible. So, um, what we'll do is. Squeeze your ribs, knit your core, good, feel that how they come closer together, your ribs and hips, then inhale, release, or exhale, release, sorry, inhale, tighten, engage, and release, and engage, and release, two more times, engage, and release, engage, and release. 
you're still on your toes, go ahead and untuck your toes and just lay them flat on the ground. And now we'll do that breathing exercise. So this breathing exercise is really great for core. This is something that actually used to be prescribed to um, as a workout. So um, what we're going to be doing, you can breathe out of your nose or your mouth, up to you, whatever is easiest. Your inhale is going to be very passive. You're not even going to notice your inhale. But you're going to exhale with short, short, sharp breaths. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate. And what I'll do is I will do um, 10 breaths out. And you're just going to notice my abdomen is going to pump back towards my spine. So I'll turn this way so everyone can see really well. And what you're going to do is take a deep breath in. And then short, sharp breaths out. So we'll do 10 at a time, uh, but you can see how this action here is working your, working your abdomen. So you can be sitting back on your heels. And let's take a full breath in and a full breath out before we get started. So inhale and exhale completely. Good. Then you inhale and get ready for those sharp shooting um, breaths. Two more rounds, same thing. Inhale, and short, sharp breaths out. And breathe in. My daughter calls these piggy nose breaths. Have <laughs> I <nice> snort? <laughs> so big breath in, and sharp shooting breaths out. you would normally work yourself up to about 40 to 50 breaths out. Um, that's definitely not where you start, but one that we may bring into this class a little bit more, especially this creative power. It really brings a lot of heat to the body, a lot of warmth. 40 to 50 per exhale or oh, 40 to 50 exhales? Oh, okay. Yep, yep. So um, before you take that big deep breath in. So I'd like, I'd like to start with 10 and we'll gradually add 10 um, as we increase. So um, with that, let's go ahead and come into a tabletop position. And feel your core ribs knitted in. And then you're going to take your right leg, extend your right leg out long, right at your hip. And then you're going to inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, right leg long. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, extend. One more time. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, extend. Good. Then inhale. Now your knee's going to go to your left, your right elbow. Excuse me. Exhale, extend. Inhale, right elbow. Exhale, extend. One more time, right elbow, and exhale, extend. Now three to the left elbow, right knee to left elbow, exhale, extend. Knee to left elbow, exhale, extend. And one more time, knee to left elbow, exhale, extend. Good. Then you're going to take your right foot through and plant it on the mat in between your thumbs for a low crescent lunge. Keep knee right over heel. And then we're going to move with this low crescent lunge. So reach your hips forward. And then you're going to send your hips back for a half split. And you can always bring the blocks on either side to bring the floor closer. Good. And then inhale, low crescent. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low crescent. Exhale, half split. 
two more times. Inhale, low crescent. Exhale, half split. Good. Now you're going to fold forward as much as you can. And your knee can always bend. You can always bring this knee bent. For comfort, you do want to feel a stretch in your hamstring and your calf, but not right behind your knee. One more breath here. And then you'll send yourself forward into your low crescent lunge. And we reach your left hip forward and make adjustments to your right foot as needed to keep your knee right over your heel. And then from here, I'm going to give you the option to bend your back knee and reach your right hand around for a nice quad stretch on your back leg. If you can't reach, just bending your knee will bring a little bit more quad. And then if you have your knee bent but you can't reach, just energetically try to press your heel towards your tush. And then you'll really feel that quad kick in. Good. And go ahead and lower your back knee down. And you're going to send yourself back into your tabletop position. And then from here, extend your left leg long. And exhale, knee the nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee the nose. Inhale, extend. One more time. Exhale, knee the nose. Inhale, extend. And then knee goes to left elbow now. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left elbow, inhale, extend, exhale, left elbow, inhale, extend, and now knee goes to your right elbow. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, right elbow, inhale, lengthen, exhale, right elbow, then inhale, lengthen, and now send your left foot through low crescent lunge. Make sure your knee is right over your heel. And then press your hips down towards the mat. And then uh, half split. Send your hips back. Inhale, low crescent. Again, you can always bring the floor closer to you with blocks. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low crescent. Exhale, half split. Two more times. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low crescent. And then exhale, half split. And start to fold forward. Again, check in with your knee. You need to bend your knee. Protect your knee ligaments. back to your low crescent and really press your right hip forward. Maybe you bend your back knee and just press your heel towards your, your bottom or you can reach around and grab if that's available. Bring yourself back to your tabletop position. Then you're going to tuck your toes and lift your hips into downward facing dog. 
and pedal your dog out a little, walk your feet. Then find some stillness in downward dog for one breath. And walk your feet up towards your hands, forward fold. Grab for opposite elbows and sway. Feel the hips opening up. Then you're going to come back to center, and now this time, instead of sway, you're going to twist. So when you twist from this position, you're going to bring your elbow till it's pointing straight to the front of the room, and then back to center, and your opposite elbow towards the front of the room. Good. Center, and twist, and I'll turn this way, and twist, center, and twist. Two more times. And last one. Good. Then come back to center. Now you're going to release your grip. Inhale, halfway lift. And then you reach tailbone and crown away from one another. And exhale, fold. Then inhale, rise, arms overhead. Palms are going to face each other, and now you're going to exhale, sink into chair pose. Knees are right over your heels. Arms can always come straight out from the shoulders or to heart center if they get tired. Good. And then you're going to inhale, lengthen your arms up and stay in chair. Exhale, fold forward. Then inhale, halfway lift. And send your right foot back for a high crescent lunge. Make adjustments as needed. Front knee right over your heel. On the ball of your back foot. And then press your back heel towards the back of the room. And notice what happens with your balance. Forward, make it in. Good, and then bring hands together and to heart center. Now you're going to take your right hand to the outside of your left knee and your left hand to your hip and bring in a gentle twist. center, arms up overhead, and then you're going to step your right foot to meet your left, hands by your sides, and take a look. It's been warm out here now. Huh? <laughs> we got lots of heaters are on full force. Yeah. yeah. No complaints. Yeah. Feels good. Okay, so next, we're going to inhale, arms up, and palms are facing, then exhale, chair pose, hips are back, maybe your toes can float off the mat to remind you to keep your knees back, inhale, lengthen in your spine, exhale, fold. Then inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, send your left foot back. High crescent lunge. And hold. Check in with your front knee. Press through your back heel to the back of the room. Notice your balance. If you ever get tired in any of these lunge poses, you can Always straighten it, come right back into it, release a little lactic acid. Then palms meet, heart center. And now left hand to the outside of your right knee, right hand to your right hip. Good. Now you come back to center, arms up, and 
then step your left foot to meet your right, arms by your sides, and take three deep breaths. Good. Okay, so next we're going to do those frogs. So again, this is much different than a frog pose in yoga. This is um, frogs coming from the kundalini version of yoga. So first thing we want, we are going to want the blocks to be um, about shoulder width apart just to start. You may or may not need those, but I always like to just start with them there um, as opposed to figuring out where they go. Next, you're going to bring your heels together. Um, and um, so you're almost in that ballet pose, that ballet first position. If your feet can touch, your heels can touch, that's ideal. If not, then just a little bit apart is okay too. Now, I, the ideal movement of a frog is going to be, um, so you can just watch for now, it's going to be heels lifted. And then you're going to bend your knees. And what you want is your chest and your face to look straight forward. This is going to be an exhale. So we're going to exhale here. And then inhale, straighten your knees. Try your best to keep your heels lifted. And if they fall down, that's okay. Then exhale back into your frog shape. So inhale, straight knees. Forward fold, exhale into frog. So um, again, if you need feet to be a little wider, that's an option. Um, also, if you can only lift your heels for down here and frog, that's okay. Just set your heels back down as you come up. Um, and then play around with the blocks. Do you need the blocks? Can you have them on different settings? Um, where are you? making sure that in your frog shape you're looking straight forward from head and chest and then in your forward fold you'll be looking at your knees. So from here you're going to inhale straight knees lift, exhale frog. And we're going to do 16 of these. So if that is still too tough there's one more modification. The other modification is going to be Feet about shoulder distance apart, and you are going to exhale, squat, inhale, straighten, exhale, fold, inhale, up, exhale, squat, inhale, up, exhale, half fold, about a halfway lift, and then back up to standing. Okay. So, so, um, so why don't, yes, yes. So why don't we all go ahead and start with this one, and maybe we'll work our way up to those other frogs. <laughs> so hands can be just comfortably resting on your hips. They can be down by your sides. They can even be clasped behind your back. Just anything that keeps um, keeps them from feeling like they're a distraction or anything here. So you're going to um, let's see. It will be exhale squat. Inhale, stand. Exhale, halfway lift. Inhale, stand. Exhale, squat. Stand. Fold. Stand. That's two. Squat. Stand. Fold. Stand. Three. Squat. Stand. Fold. Stand. Four. Fold. Squat, stand, fold, stand, six, squat, stand, fold, stand, squat, stand, fold, stand, squat, stand, fold, stand, that's ten. And we're moving at a pretty quick pace to really get the energy flowing. This is 
13, three more. If you feel like you can pick your pace up, go for two more with a little faster pace. Last one. Good. Then take a moment, palms face out, turn your toes to the front of the room, close your eyes, and take about two deep breaths. One more. Good. Then go ahead and bring in the core engagement. So knit your front ribs in, maybe shorten your stance to hip distance instead of shoulder. Inhale, arms overhead, palms face. Then exhale, sink into chair. From chair, palms together, then to heart center, and you're gonna twist. So option to bring your right elbow to the outside of your right knee, or you can bring your right hand to the outside of your right knee, left hand to hip, like we did earlier. Good. Then come back to center, and opposite side. One more breath, and back to center, and slowly stand back up, arms by your sides, one breath. Good, then inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, fold forward, inhale, halfway lift, plant your hands, and then you're going to walk your feet back to downward facing dog. Now from downward facing dog, play around a little, see if you can find dolphin pose. Dolphin pose is going to be lowering your elbows down to the ground, your, your forearm, but keep your down dog shape. Now, if this is too intense on the back of your legs or your arms, you could always raise the height of the floor with some blocks. And be in your dolphin shape. So find what works for you. It's a great core workout. Two more breaths. Good, then back to downward facing dog. And now turbo dog. So turbo dog, you're gonna bend your knees generously and bring them till they're just hovering over the mat. Close as you can get. And hold, you're still keeping your downward dog shape so your chest is still eating for your thighs. Good. Then lower your knees all the way down. Sit back on your heels and take a breath. Good. When you're ready, you're going to bring yourself seated with your feet planted on the mat and your knees bent. And then your hands go right behind your hamstrings. Um, or they could even go back behind you. But start with the hamstrings. Start here and play around. If you need your hands to support you in the back, then bring that in later. So first you're going to really lengthen in your neck and your spine. And then you're going to hinge yourself back until you feel your core turn on. Once you feel your core turn on, just stay there for a moment. And if you really need your hands back behind you, you can. Otherwise, keep them right here and breathe. Good. 
Breathe in one big breath in and out. And then play with it. See if you can lift your feet for one breath. Good, and now feet down, wrap and round your arms around your knees and bring in that cat back. So your chin is tucked to your chest, really round spine, and about three deep breaths. Bring yourself back up to center. Hands behind your thighs again. And spine nice and long. Now you're going to lean back so you feel everything turn on. And option here, if you keep your feet on the ground, then you're just going to take your right foot out and back in. Then left foot out and back in. If you're feeling super strong, you can lift your feet and then bring your leg out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Two more each leg. Last one. Good. Just set your feet down. Ground and wrap. Three deep breaths. spine and exhale fold forward to the first point of resistance. Nice long spine, long neck. And breathe. Feel the stretch behind your legs. The softness of your belly. And can you walk your hands out? Maybe just one more in. Walk your hands out one more time. If not, just stay where you're at and breathe deeply. Good. And slowly come. And now you're going to take your left hand to the outside of your left ankle or foot and reach your right arm up and over for a really nice side bend here. So make sure this is a side bend. The rib cage should be opening rather than a full fold. Very nice. This is 
a really great pose for flexibility. A full body stretch on the left side, or right side, excuse me. One more breath. And you come back up to center. And opposite side, your right hand to the outside. Out of your ankle, arm up and over. Very, very nice standing. Feel the stretch from the toes of the left. Feel the fingertips of your left arm. Bring your legs together. To your left. You're going to keep your your hips are high. Going in the full body. Hands on the inside of your left, your body's just angled. Both six. Bones. Flex another way. One seam. Like we're doing a little bit. Really muscles to put here. Walk back up to this spin to your chest. Stay forward from that. You just notice the Notice what's inside is there. One more breath. Right leg out. So you're going to be right in between legs and forward. The bones are coming. Upper hamstring, hamstring like, is happening, in and then turn, turn so that your chest is right over your head. And orientation is just. Opening half of the abdomen. And hit a lot more concern. Yes. But then come back. I'm going to.
behind your hips. And there's a very, very muscle flow. Long, having your comfortable, you can stick your earth, your left, and then you're going to go outside, you pull your left, take your right. Whether it's back or not, now you're going to be close in inside body. Take your right knee and cross your bum the opposite direction. Go to the right foot or the right foot. you come back, rest, and you're going to take a turn, three, four, five, five, six, six, four, five, six, 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 Long or right, right knee to body, your chin or your hand, shoulder blades to your shoulder. And then you can go
open by the exhale for it. Hold it. Last breath. Tight twist. Tight twist. Tight twist. breath, and then you come back, hug both sides, and raise your legs, it needs to be done, so don't raise the fluid in your legs, raise your mobility. your feet up above your head, that is it. Land it on the mat, and then lift a little bit more. Relax, and now we're going to squeeze the legs, the chest, and the knees. And then uh, bow through the legs. It's really healthy. Allow your feet to be in the Thank 
Bring the bring the night before the air. Wet grass and dirt smell around you. As you begin to do walking along the edge. Gaze at the wall for you. There's a chance, right? And blossom fiber. appreciation your fingers and when it wants to be good changes your proper
overhead in a very, very general way. Yes, you know, if you don't taste it, and if you can all make it. Welcome. Hands come to our joint arm. You're welcome. 